so in this video we'll be learning the fundamental torque equation of motor load system okay so this is a very important question now here we have to understand few points few points you have to write before going for the derivation part just the equation part okay so here we have the first point a motor generally drives a load this is important this is motor load system okay so let me just draw one motor and load system so basically This we can consider it as the motor and this we can consider it as the load okay so torque for this let me consider it in this direction that means clockwise direction and the speed of the motor as well in clockwise direction load torque will be in the anti-clockwise direction so this is nothing but the equivalent motor load system Now here you need to understand as they said in the first sentence motor generally drives a load through some transmission system so there will be some kind of transmission system where motor will be driving the load okay first point second point motor always rotates so it is important always the motor rotates now what happens to the load load may rotate or may undergo translational motion this is very important so two two things can happen motor will always rotate and what to put load load may rotate or may undergo what translational motion what is this translational motion now when you consider an object suppose you consider one object so in this object in this body or object all the points in the body will move with the same distance with the same amount of in the same amount of time same displacement will happen same force will be applied each and every point suppose you take one sliding uh, one sliding this thing slant type of thing is there one box is going okay so each and every part of the box let me consider here one point say this point is a here one more point say this point is b now in a point as well as b point i have considered here two points only you can consider many points infinite points now here a and b point these points will experience same amount of displacement or same amount of force or same amount of pressure everything will be same okay this body will experience each and every point in this body will experience the same amount of force or displacement or pressure or any kind of things that is nothing but translational board motion okay this thing you remember now the load may rotate or may undergo translational motion now third point load speed may be different from motor okay so it will be the load speed in whichever it is running it will be different from what maybe maybe possibility is there it may be different or it can be same also fourth point if load has different parts suppose loads has many parts okay a b c parts load has three parts suppose their speed may be different and while some may rotate and other parts may go through translational motion that means for example it has a b c parts this a part may rotate and b and c may go for what go through what translational motion or in other uh, in other way we can see suppose c is rotating and a and b will go for what to translational motion okay anything can happen so these are all the possibilities they are talking about so this power points you need to understand okay motor load equivalent motors load system this you have to draw then this four points you have to explain now let us go for the various notations that is very very important in order to find out the fundamental torque equation various notations okay we will start with the first one that is nothing but j capital letter j it is nothing but the polar moment of inertia okay of what motor load system this is nothing but motor load system and it is given kg meter square 
So here we have the second one that is omega m which is nothing but the instantaneous angular velocity of motor shaft to radian per second. Third one is the T capital T which is nothing what we have discussed that is a motor torque. So we can write it as instantaneous value of developed motor torque which is Newton meter torque unit. Now TL is nothing but low torque. Okay, so instantaneous value of low torque Newton meter. So four points, four various notations you have to remember. Now directly you can write the what fundamental torque equation. So T capital T minus TL is equal to differentiation with respect to T of what J omega M. So all the four terms has come four notations. Low uh, sorry motor torque, low torque then polar moment of inertia then omega m which is the angular velocity of motor shaft okay so this four terms has come so t minus tl motor torque minus low torque is nothing but the differentiation of j omega m now we have to differentiate right how to differentiate this is in product form right product form with respect to t we have to differentiate so first term as it is that is j you consider this as first term and this as second term omega m second j first so first term into differentiation of the second term plus second term as it is into differentiation of first term that's it okay this is what we got so this is the first equation which we can call it as what fundamental torque equation now this is for what this is applicable for only variable inertia Okay, this you remember variable inertia. Now, what about constant inertia? In what so this equation is for variable inertia? Okay, the so first equation. Now, second equation will be for constant inertia. What happens in constant inertia? dj by dt will become what zero okay so dj by dt will become zero so because of that this term becomes what zero so therefore we can write it as t minus tl equal to instead of this this is the for variable inertia right so i can write it as j d omega by dt it will be as it is plus this whole term will become zero correct so i can just leave it as it is so this will my my final thing so constant inertia t minus tl is equal to j d omega m by dt this is for constant inertia because in constant inertia dj by dt is equal to zero okay now one more thing you should remember the torque developed by the motor this t is counterbalanced by what the tl so this i can rewrite t is equal to j d omega m by dt plus TL correct so this motor torque that means torque developed by the motor will be counterbalanced by the low torque as well as one more quantity is there J D omega m by dt which we call it as what dynamic torque this term you have to remember so this particular term we call it as dynamic torque okay this is important so simple one sentence you have to write so this simple this sentence you have to write okay after writing this sentence we have to go for one explanation Okay, after this explanation, it completes the whole thing about fundamental torque equation of motor load system. So, let us go for the explanation. Here are few points. Let us consider the first point. So, here what they are saying drive accelerates or deaccelerates. Here we have two conditions whether it accelerates or deaccelerates. Which on which factors it depends? It depends on whether the T motor torque is greater or less than low torque. So as we discussed, T is nothing but T is equal to TL plus J D omega M by DT. So if you see, uh, I'll consider it for constant inertia. Okay. So here you can see 
t so this acceleration and deacceleration depends upon what the motor torque and load torque whether motor torque is greater than load torque or motor torque is less than load torque based on this acceleration and deacceleration will take place so what happens second point during acceleration let us talk about the first condition that is acceleration motor should supply not only the low torque but the, but an additional torque that is nothing but j d omega m by dt in order to overcome the drive inertia in order to overcome the resistance which is offered by the inertia okay so basically what they are telling in second point during acceleration what happens this motor should not only supply this motor torque motor should not only supply the low torque it should supply one additional torque that is nothing but j d omega m by dt right in order to overcome the drive inertia in order to overcome the resistance offered offered by the drive okay so for that we we need the motor to supply not only this part even the dynamic torque additional torque so what happens in large drives for example in electric trains in large drives with inertia large inertia we have electric trains as best example motor torque must exceed the load torque by large amount in order to get enough acceleration that means t should be far 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 greater than tl that means it should exceed at a much large amount so that it will get much uh, uh, enough acceleration to because it has to take many loads right so that this motor torque should be much 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 greater than the load torque that means you might have understood t is greater than tl means we are talking about acceleration and uh, t is less than tl means we are talking about deacceleration okay this thing you remember now the fourth point in drives requiring fast transient response what is meant by transient response transient response of motor basically means that we are talking about starting braking speed reversal all this kind of things okay starting braking of starting braking speed changing right speed reversal all these things fast means we need to fastly apply all these operations okay in drives requiring fast transient response that means drives which requires fast starting braking speed was all these things motor torque should be maintained at highest value and the and motor load load system should be designed with lowest possible inertia that means inertia of motor load system should be less okay but the motor torque that means torque of the motor should be more and the motor load system should be designed with inertia less for what drives with fast transient response let us go for the next point that is energy associated with dynamic torque is stored in the form of kinetic energy so during acceleration what happens the energy is stored in form of dynamic sorry kinetic energy for what dynamic torque so that is d j d omega m by dt so this en energy associated with this one is stored in the form of kinetic energy okay now let us go for deacceleration second mode of operation deacceleration in which what happens dynamic torque will have negative sign and maintains drive motion by extracting energy from kinetic energy simple now whenever they are storing energy in form of kinetic energy in so in during acceleration they are storing the energy associated with the dynamic torque in the form of kinetic energy now in deacceleration they have to extract it from extract it right so they have to extract kinetic energy in order to drive the uh in order to make the drive in motion okay they are extracting now first they are storing then they are extracting in case of deacceleration okay so this is what happens in whole scenario 